My new toy arrived today by special delivery. The Garmin InReach Mini two-way satellite communicator on the Iridium satellite network um, and does a whole bunch of other gps -y type stuff. Uh, and so I'm going to have a look. Uh, I have opened it up already, uh, but I put it away earlier on because I want to protect it. Uh, but I'm going to uh, open it up uh, and have a play around. It was £300 um, from uh, an online shop. And I'm going to open it up and muck around with it. So let's have a look. Okay, so here we are. And it's already on because I've had it open and out and set up. It requires an airtime plan. Um, and there's various plans and you can see them all on the Garmin website. Uh, but uh, it, it is a extra paid for service. Uh, and that means that I get unlimited tracking points. People can log in and see a map. They can see where I am, they can see my speed, um, and I have access to the GEOS uh, system, which allows me to set off an SOS alert, and they can do their thing, and they can communicate back with you to find out just what's wrong with you, if we've got a broken leg, a bleeding head, bad case of a cold, something like that. Um, and there's a whole bunch of these other stuff you'd expect, uh, but, you know, instructions, you know, kind of, you know, cables and stuff. Um, little carabiner, it's, quite, it's interesting how much marketing departments these days pay attention to the quality of the packaging, the product, because it's, I mean, even this, you know, it's, what that, it's a little carabiner for holding it at the back is, you know, all, the whole thing feels really good quality. Um, so I set this up, took about half an hour, um, I did it through the website, I downloaded the app for the iPhone as well, so you can see the Bluetooth connection there, and I subscribed to a Freedom plan, which basically means you pay an extra £25, and you can turn off your plan when you don't need it, so you don't keep paying per month, uh, which is ideal for me because I'm probably not going to be using this uh, month in, month out. Uh, and uh, so I'm paying uh, right now £37 a month, and that gives me unlimited tracking points with up to 10 minute interval, a map that I can share with anyone, that can, people can see where I am and communicate with me, they can write back through that uh, app. But also I can send text messages through this and through the iPhone app. Preset messages that I can customize are totally free, and customized text message that you can type away on the device itself, um, cost uh, credits. Uh, so I have 40 included credits in this, or I can upgrade the plan for unlimited uh, credits. Um, and I think it's 59 pence per message thereafter if you go above your plan. So if you just use preset messages uh, all the time, then uh, you, you don't, it won't really cost you anything. Um, uh, over and above your message plan. So that's quite good. This thing does a whole bunch of stuff and to be honest, I am not 100% convinced uh, that I will use much of it or any of it because it seems to have been touted for hikers and walkers and other types of things. I'm not sure how good it is for the marine thing and I've seen some other reviews on YouTube and we're going to use this for boat stuff. That's sailing, motor cruising, power boating, uh, yacht deliveries, boat deliveries. Uh, we do training, we do boat deliveries, we move boats around the UK and Europe and other places for people who don't want to move them themselves or can't. And I was going to buy myself a new EPIRB, a new PLB, personal locator beacon, that would fit inside one of my life jackets. Um, they're kind of like this. This is a, a, a ship, a boat mounted uh, EPIRB. Um, works in the same 406 uh, megahertz technology. Uh, it was a small PLB that fits into the life jacket, but I decided instead to get this because um, it looks cool. And uh, it's got an SOS button with actual backup behind it. And check that out but also to a messaging, which is kind of important to me. And it's also important to 
uh, our owners, the people that uh, get us to move their boats uh, around the world for them. And they want to know where we are and we need to be able to talk to them and let them know what's going on and uh, and get other things. And, and uh, if I start the tracking here, you see there we go, I can start tracking interval and it will start me off with a log. I've set it in meters and in knots and you can change these units. There's my lat long, I've set it in degrees mets uh, there and it's giving me some elevation which I don't need if I'm on the sea. There's my speed, it's really sensitive. I tried it outside for a little minute and as soon as you start walking it, it, it detects you. Um, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, there, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That is a message that it's just come through that I sent not too long ago and that from my uh, mobile phone app to the device and it has come through and we are inside. There's windows over there and all sorts of things going on but it is received inside which I was not expecting. So there's my message and it will ring until I press the OK button to read the message. Um, and it's actually really getting quite annoying. So there we go. Yo, from iPhone. I can reply. I can write a custom one, like so. Using it on this device. Mm, it's a really, if you really had to, yeah, you could do it, but it's not great. That's why you connect this via Bluetooth to the iPhone or iPad app, and you can send satellite text messages just like uh, you do normally. I can also pick a quick text and you can customize these. I have, <laughs> you can see we can guess what that is. I have uh, pre-customized uh, the messages to um, things that I might uh, want to say. So here's uh, one. Uh, quick text and I've said uh, let's see if it uh, moves it along automatically check in all is well and I've said nothing significant to report so I could send that type, type of text message um, uh, or I could write a custom one using the device or the app um, and so there's various other things in there there's the timer I've started tracking there's zero meters uh, or miles, I haven't uh, moved uh, clearly inside. And the weather, now this is pretty cool. So uh, I've got a weather screen. It's capable of receiving uh, standard weather, uh, uh, but also premium weather, which I did not uh, understand prior to purchasing it. Um, and what that means is, if I go to update, I can actually select the weather. I'm going to investigate that later on, uh, I think. Uh, but I don't think it's going to work inside. But I will have a look at that later on because that is pretty interesting. So, Garmin and Reach Mini, you know, there's loads of bunch of reviews and stuff online uh, that I have seen already way better than me. I'm not really trying to review it uh, per se. But for me, I'm interested to want uh, to know if it's going to be uh, of real use at sea. And so I will do more videos on this in real world conditions. That is at sea, on passage, far from land, well outside the coverage of uh, mobile phone uh, uh, or cell phone masts. Um, and we'll see how well it works uh, and if it works at all I'm sure it will um, but uh, so far yeah I'm pretty pretty pleased uh, with it it's pretty good build quality as well I was going to go for a cheaper type of device um, I'm glad I I'm glad I went for this and um, and I'm also glad I went for this mini one because it's small and it's lightweight I love minimalist stuff um, but beyond that, the other version of this, the older version of this, is a bigger device. It's like this big, and it has this lovely big color screen on it for topographical mapping, um, and it's really great for hikers, and, you know, but I'm not doing that. Um, 
and I just think it's more expensive as well. This one was £300. I think the Explorer InReach uh, SE and Plus models, the big ones you can find online, uh, are like uh, £400, £450. Um, and I don't need any of that. I just I don't need any of that stuff. I just need two-way satellite communication. SOS. The marine weather is a bonus. Uh, and the uh, position tracking, the speed, uh, and the log, you know, the distance run, um, that is a bonus. It's got a compass in it as well. Um, so these are all bonus features to me, are pretty important ones. Um, I think what I'm going to do is stop pointing the camera at the same thing the whole time and me talking away. I'm going to go down and see if I can get some signal outside and see what happens. All right. Okay, so I've come down to the boat uh, on onto the pontoon and to have a look and see how it works as a GPS as well. I have to say I am quite surprised. It seems to know when I'm walking. It must have some hell of an update refresh rate. It's, look at that. As soon as I start walking and right away it detects how quickly I'm going. I'll need to take one or two, look at that, just one or two steps. And the heading is, right now that's pretty much south. And uh, I can change, change a little bit of direction. It changes right away, it's very sensitive. Um, I was not expecting that. Speed 0, 0.0 knots, start walking, and 2.4 knots, 2.1, stop walking, zero, one or two steps right away fantastic i did not expect that at all um, from this device i really was just expecting uh, a basic message communicator and it has a whole bunch of other stuff that i that i didn't know it could do a lot of this is not useful for sailors Purbosers, seafarers, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that is, and one thing that I was pretty surprised about was uh, the weather. Select OK to update forecast. There's the OK button. Let's have a press. Update, and I can get marine weather, basic and premium. I think you have to pay uh, one pound, or the equivalent of one US dollar per update for the premium weather. I press OK. And so this is linked to my Garmin account uh, where I have my debit card stored. So I pay for the plan. And that little chirp just means that the message requesting the marine premium weather has gone out. And so I need to wait to get the weather report back. So we'll see in a minute if that comes through. Okay, so the marine weather has come through, I think. The device has just chirped uh, after I've requested the marine premium weather forecast. And if I go up and press the OK button, we've got some summary there. My location three minutes ago, 19 and 13 degrees Celsius. So that's high and low precipitation, 60%. I'm assuming that's the prob. Uh, of rain uh, going to OK and ah here we go so we've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday so it's gone a seven day forecast on the unit uh, but does this tell us any more so let's press OK it does it's got an hour by hour forecast. Let's go into now 8 pm press the OK button. Yeah, there's more. So moderate breeze, 18 degrees Celsius. That's pretty accurate. I would say for right now. Precipitation 0, 10%. That's pretty accurate. Light rain, we've had some earlier on today. Uh cloud cover 70%. Pretty accurate. Wind south southwest from 11 knots. That was pretty accurate today 
uh, it was much windier earlier on and pressure as well look at that 10 12 millibars well of course we're in hectopascals now but millibars is the same wind chill humid look at this is fantastic this is great to see as a professional inverted commas seafarer uh, inverted commas having pressure and wind speed and direction is fantastic that is really really good i'm gonna have a look at it on the app as well but uh do you know i am um, i was i was not convinced 100 percent convinced enough to buy it but i was not convinced that it would be uh, i thought it would be adapting something for hikers and walkers for a marine use now of course time will tell but so far, I am reasonably impressed. Okay, so back up at the office now, and uh, I'm gonna put it away, but uh, yeah, like I said, so far, I'm reasonably impressed with it. But what we're gonna do is make up another video um, for a record to see if it really works at sea whilst we're moving between 10 and 17 knots on passage uh, somewhere. Um, we will make a video. This will make uh, a part of other videos that we will do with some of the deliveries that we're doing. I might, uh, I've got a couple of deliveries coming up um, that I'm not personally doing that, but a skipper doing them for me um, uh, just around the UK. So from Falmouth up to uh, the west coast of Scotland and another one over to Northern Ireland uh, again from somewhere uh, in Englandshire and uh, Brighton and um, so I'm tempted just to give them this uh, and uh, and yeah and set, set them up with it and see if I can test it out that way and uh, then the next time that I'm doing something me personally I will take a little video just to show other people that this thing does actually work as I believe it will get the weather get a position do two-way messaging on the hop well at a signal uh, clearly it, it will otherwise it wouldn't have sold so many of them but um, I want to see how useful it is in a marine environment at sea not hiking up mountains uh, we are walking slowly um, but on a boat and uh, we'll see how it goes so I'm going to do that and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.